Welcome to the 21st century. Sickle cell trait is a genetic condition resulting from the inheritance of one sickle cell gene and one normal hemoglobin gene. If both parents have sickle cell trait, each child has a 25% chance of having sickle cell disease, a 50% chance of inheriting sickle cell trait, and a 25% chance of not inheriting any sickle cell gene. Sickle cell traits is particularly prevalent in people of Africa, Mediterranean, Middle Eastern, and Indian accessories. The prevalence in Africa at large ranges 10% to 40%. About 80% of sickle cell disease cases occur in Sub-Sahara Africa, and the mortality rates of children below the age of 5 ranges from 50% to 80%. Science and technology makes marriages between lovers who have sickle cell trait facilitated by the development of several screening tools and testings and supported by evidence-based practices. Some screening tests to consider include non-invasive prenatal testing, coronic villus sampling, and aminosynthesis. Love should not be withheld regardless of genotype, color, or race. Having non-sickle cell children can still be eliminated. Honey? What's going on? Hmm. I mean, my baby is, my baby and I were fine now. Um, okay. But, but, yeah. But, but you, you what? And speak, you are getting me scared. I have a, I have sickle cell trait. What? Yes. Sickle what? Yeah. Sickle cell trait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But honey, you told me before we got married mm -hmm. that you were AA, right? I showed you the paper that I was AA. The hospital that I went to was quack. Hmm? For British Medical, they know what they are doing. They gave me two, two times. I went there, I went to that place, I did the tests. Hmm? I have a, I have sickle cell. So, you know I am AS. You know. Now that you are just coming and then telling me that, eh, that you trick me. You know what you are doing. You trick me. What am I so? What am I supposed to? What am I supposed to do right now? Excuse me. Excuse me. You just come in. Start to raise your hand. Start to raise your voice. What am I supposed to do right now? How am I supposed to take this? That means you lied to me. I don't want the. That means you lied to me. I want an abortion. Yeah. I you, you, you what? Abo, son. I can't keep the child. You, you the craze for your head. Something they worry you. Who? Abo what? So, is it me talking to me? We've been waiting for all these years. You're talking to the world. And then you are telling me you want abo. You're talking to the world. Something. You must have that baby. Just allow me to explain this to you. If both parents have a sickle cell trait, each child has a 25% chance of sickle cell disease or a 50% chance of inheriting a sickle cell trait and another 25% chance of not inheriting any sickle cell genes. 25% of did, did you hear that? You heard. <laughs> hey, thank you, God. You heard that. 25% of what? You heard that. There is a percentage. You heard that. I, I, heard told, that. I, told, I cannot take the chance. You heard that. But percent chance. See, they said 25% chance. For what? For what? Chance. Yeah, chance for what? That is the item. To have like a sick baby, right? Not one. To have a sick baby, right? It's not the one. It's a quarter. Hey! Hey! To have a sick baby, right? Hey, what are you talking about? How, how much chances do we have to hey, get what together? Hey, what's going on? Hey, Mecca, I'll again. What's happening? You can... Love can still happen. Sickle cell trait or no sickle cell trait, love can continue. Okay, I'm going to explain to you guys. You come with me to my office. There are two options we have. We have the CVS, which is called the Coronic Villus Sampling Test and Aminosynthesis. You don't need to argue. You always pray for a child. Now you have a child, now you're pregnant, now you're fighting. Yeah. Okay, come yeah. with me, come with me, yeah. guys. Stop fighting. Come on. I'm going to explain to you guys. There are two tests, the CVS test, which is done between the 10th and the 12th week of pregnancy, the first trimester. And the CVS can be done transcervically, in which 
a tube is inserted through your cervix it passes through and gets to your placenta now a sample is suctioned of your coronic villus that sample is sent to the lab to know the genetics of your child this is all done under ultrasound guidance so it's very very safe but i must tell you there are some downsides to this sampling that means there's some a chance for miscarriage 0.5 to 1 percent chance higher than normal miscarriage possibility of infection so these are very small chances compared to the benefits if you get this test done but this is done very very carefully these chances are very very minor we also have another test done it's called the trans abdominal test in which a needle is passed through your abdomen under ultrasound guidance and pass gets to the placenta that way we know if the child we are able to take the sample send it to the labs and it also tells us the genetics of the child with about the same risk that I previously mentioned. Something else to consider is in the second trimester where you can do the aminosynthesis and the amniotic fluid is extracted, sent to the lab, analyzed. Same thing, miscarriage, but you know, lower the risk 0.1 to 0.3 percent. There's also a small risk of injury or infection to the fetus, but the benefits are there. Now, there's a slight possibility that the conscious site when you have aminosynthesis may still bring out some amniotic fluid, but it's expected to resolve on its own. The question is, when is aminosynthesis done? It's done second trimester of pregnancy. That way, it tells you the gender. It also tells you the genotype. Additionally, chromosomal analysis, you want to know if the child is abnormal. Why I like chronic villus is because you know very early in pregnancy and you can make informed decisions regarding the pregnancy. If you want to carry it forward or what you want to do. But I want to explain to you how this works. The couples that have AS and AS, you only have a trait. You don't have the disease. This is just a trait. And you have the trait. It is in no way sickle cell disease. And when you get married to each other, these are the expectations. There is a possibility of having a child with sickle cell disease, which is a 25% chance. There is a possibility of having two children with the trait as well. This is not sickle cell disease. There's also a possibility of having a normal child that doesn't carry a trait, neither does it carry the disease. Okay? So I would like for you guys to go back and think about everything we discussed. But you must calm down. If you need to take a seat. I will take her in now and just get some vitals. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. I will just have to take your blood pressure and now give me medicine. Which blood pressure? Which blood pressure? Give me medicine. I need to talk. Oh my God. I just, I just, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. He told me blood pressure. He's giving me medicine. What does blood pressure have to do with that? He's checking the pressure of you. What? Okay. Okay, have her take a seat. Have her take a seat. Have a take a seat. How can I sit down when there's fire? I'm tired. Let's take a pressure. Oh, you go see yeah, just sit down. Okay. Sit down. I want to look. Just see. Come. You cannot look in my daughter's virus. Daughter's virus. Yes, we want to take your virus. Look. 
Emeka and Uche, I have the results from the CBS. And the advantages of the CVS is that it reveals any chromosomal abnormality like cystic fibrosis, sickle cell disease, Edward disease, any chromosome, Down syndrome. It tells us if your child has Down syndrome and your child doesn't have any of that. It also reveals the gender of the child. And that will Hmm, you guys guess what? I'm having a little princess. And she does not have sickle cell disease. Can you do that? God is good. God is good. What? <laughs> but she has sickle cell trait. Sickle cell trait is not sickle cell disease. Sickle cell trait has a normal life expectancy and can live a normal life. Okay, so I'm happy for you guys and go celebrate and enjoy your baby and the pregnancy. Congratulations! Thank you so much, Papa. No love left behind. Sickle cell trait has a protective effect against malaria. They typically do not have sickle cell disease and usually live a normal life without any severe symptoms associated with the disease. However, under extreme conditions such as severe dehydration or high altitude, they might experience some health issues. Doctor? Yeah. Hello, Doctor. Hello. Uche. Hello. Mama Uche, what brings you here today? You are here for your results, right? Okay. I need, I need the medicine. medicine. I understand. I need the medicine. You people bring me here. How many months now you don't want to give me medicine? I want to use black soap, uh, uh, hot water. You say no. Give me medicine, don't give me medicine. You people are here invading my daughter Baras. See me here, yeah, Toronto, today. Sorry, Let me see how you enter I'm here. I'm sorry about the symptoms that you're experiencing. But based on the evaluation that was done and the sample sent to the lab, you have uncomplicated vulvo vaginal candidiasis. Vulvo again? Uncomplicated. Vovo, vagina, you understand what she's candidiasis. Doctor, give me medicine. What is Vololag? Yes, I, I will. I want to. I'm going to prescribe. I'll send to your pharmacy a prescription of Miconazole. Hmm? It's a vaginal insert that you're that? going to insert. It's five grams. Is that here again? Yes. To put what insert here? Vice you invite right? my private. Vice you don't do that, Baras. How are you going to insert? Listen, I'm, I'm suing your hospital. I'm give me medicine. You invert my privacy. You didn't give me. I'm you, suing your symptoms. You will not have a Police! Police! Mama, it's for your health, though.